Creed was a real pleasant surprise to a lot of people, myself especially, because when they first announced the first Creed movie, I thought the idea was dumb. It's like, come on, the Rocky, the Rocky story has been told and the Rocky story is about Rocky. We don't need to see stories about who Apollo's kid. Come on, really? And then Creed came out and it was awesome. Just absolutely awesome. Then they did a Creed 2. Now, I was a little bit nervous because Ryan Coogler wasn't coming back to direct it. And Creed 2 isn't quite as good as Creed 1, but it was still really quite good. And so I liked it. So there have been some talk of Creed 3. And even back in, I want to say sometime in the summer, there were some whispers going around about the possibility of Michael B. Jordan himself stepping up mm. to direct it. Well, apparently, uh, that's not just talk. It's now officially confirmed. Tessa Thompson has confirmed uh, in an interview where she was promoting another one of her movies, uh, she has come out and confirmed that it is done. He's he's doing it now. She's talking about making fun of Michael B. Jordan because he was just named, you know, sexiest man alive. But it says this in an interview with MTV's uh, news news promoting her latest film, Sylvie's Love. Tessa Thompson discussed Jordan's newfound title of 2020 Sexiest Man Alive and jokingly said that she was going to pretend it hasn't happened due to them making another Creed very soon and that Jordan's new title is too much for her to shoulder. But after Thompson claimed she would give him a lot of crap about it, she was asked if Jordan would be directing, and the actress said he is directing the next Creed. She would follow up by uh, continuing to tease her co-star by saying, it's going to be ammo, I think, for me. When he's engaging with me as a director, I'm just going to tell him to dial down the sexiness. And uh, <laughs> listen, as, as an extremely heterosexual man, she ain't wrong. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan's a sexy dude. So here we are, the, the, the talk and the whispers, and we thought they were probably true anyway, but they are now confirmed. Michael B. Jordan is directing the next Creed film. And I'll tell you what, this is, I'm always a little bit nervous about first time directors, but this is Rob, when you really think about it, the exact kind of movie that Michael B. Jordan should be coming in to direct as somebody with not a lot of directing experience. It is, despite the fact that we all love Creed, they are smaller films. They are, in fact, smaller films. They're not budgeted very high. They don't no. make tons of money at the box office. On top of that, this is he's already been on a Creed set twice. He's worked with two different directors on it. He knows this character now intimately. So the ability to now direct the film and act in it, I think will make it a little bit easier because he knows the character very well now at this point. So again, I don't know if he's going to turn out to be a great director or not, but if you're talking about a, a, an actor with little to no directing experience, wanting to step in and direct a film, this is the perfect kind of film to do something like that. So I think this is good news, Rob. I mean, I would rather hear Ryan Coogler is coming back to direct. That's what I would rather hear, but this is pretty good to me. Rob, what do you make of this? Well, you know, I, I've, I've seen Michael B. Jordan talk about this. I, I was on some talk show, and he's a really smart guy. I'm really curious to see what he will do with this. I, I heard, John, rumor on the street is he fights Cheetah. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, he, way, makes a wish, he makes a wish that Apollo, his father, would come back, and then Apollo yeah. comes back in the body of Mr. T, and Mr. T fights Cheetah. That, we just wrote I, your movie for you, WB. Take it and run with just, it. For all of you out there, don't run with that. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> just so you know, I, I was making a joke, to be clear. Um, no, I, I think this is great. I, You know, he wants to direct. I think that he he knows this franchise. He worked with Coogler twice. He's seen how Disney movies are made. Black Panther is a huge film. And I well, think, he's worked uh, with Coogler I, three times, like Fruitvale Station, yeah. um, Black Panther, and Creed. He's worked with him as a director three times. Yeah, and, and to have that kind of a relationship and to see how films are developed and finally executed, I, I think it's a good a good move for him. And let's face it, Stallone himself directed Rocky films. That's yep. how he started. And I, I think it's a good a good uh, good for him. You know, I think that's what you do with your stardom. You parlay it to further your career, not necessarily monetarily, but you stretch as an artist, as a filmmaker, and I think it's great. I can't I wait. I think this is going to work out really well for him. The question is, guys, what do you think? 
about this whole it's now official michael b jordan will be directing a creed 3 I, I guess even another piece of news there it's now official there is going to be a creed 3 and michael b jordan will be directing it what do you guys think jump down into the comment section John, below and let me know oh, your thoughts all right. over uh, over under do oh, we oh see any under. of the characters from rocky 3 come back from rocky 3 yeah <sighs> Well, that was the one with Mr. T, right? Yes. There's been a lot of whispers. Somebody, so, I remember when the when talk first came out about maybe they're they're doing another Creed after Creed Two. There were rumors going around about next time he's going to fight Clubber Lang's son. I mean, here's here's what I think: the possibility of a Mr. T cameo, like being interviewed ringside for something else, like a cameo, very high, or a wrestling cameo. Like who? You know, um, um, oh, why am I drawing a blank on his name? You know, uh, uh, blonde hair. Hulk Hogan? That's Thunderlips? Thunder That's <laughs> Thunderlips? Thunder the ultimate Hulk male Hogan versus the ultimate meatball? Yes. There, there's the one too. The versus the ultimate meatball. That I, I, I wouldn't throw it away. I would not throw it away. So I'll go. I think that'd be kind of, I mean, hey, with listen, Cobra Kai, come on. It'd be cool to bring back Thunderlips. If we're just talking about cameo. Yeah, I say the chance of a Clubber Lang or a Thunderlips return are very high. I would say like I in know, the seventy percent right? range. So I I would go pretty high. Anyway, uh, all right, guys, with that down.